What's up guys? Sorry that sun's right in my face. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. Southwest Cargo. <laughs> We're picking up some very, some pretty rare fish that I'm super excited about this. Let's go get them. There we have it. I'm blocking out my, my address so nobody can send me pizzas. But it is in. We are here. Just picked it up. Let's go home. So as you saw in the beginning of this video, and I hope that footage turned out okay, uh, we picked up a package from the airport. That was the first time I've actually ever done that. It was the first time I've actually ever like picked up a package from Cargo. And we shipped in some Zebra Plecos. I am so excited for this fish. This is one I've been after for a while. Um, I ordered it from a place called Freshwater Exotics. It, well, they're on, I found them on Facebook. <clears throat> um, let me tell you more here. I've had, I had really good success with them. Uh, shipping was great, pricing was, okay, was good, customer service was excellent. Uh, it's, I'm very, I'm very impressed uh, with everything of my interaction from Freshwater Exotics. And it's uh, Christine and Jamie. So Christine and Jamie, thank you very much for working with me to get these plecos here. Um, these are wild caught plecos, so I'm very excited. I'm actually excited about that too. Uh, so today we're gonna get these unboxed. We're gonna get them into their tank and start their quarantine. And because they are wild, we are gonna have to make, definitely make sure that they're dewormed correctly. Um, I have a 10 gallon tank I was gonna put these guys in for now, but I had a subscriber reach out to me and offer to send me a certain fish. And I've also found other fish, so everything kind of happened all at once, the things that I've been looking for. So these are gonna go into uh, the 40 gallon tank. Uh, we actually recently just sold the goldfish, but I no longer have the goldfish in here. So currently I have a couple blue acara going through quarantine and then some Synodotus catfish that I've actually had for a while. So it's not the best practice, but putting them through meds, everything should be okay. But I do like though that this tank, even in this fish room, with when I cover it, it stays about 80 to 81 degrees. And this is what I need for these plecos. So let's get this open. Uh, so I haven't even opened the box yet. And for all you haters out there, if I'm sniffing snot down my throat, I am so sorry. Anyways, had a lot of those comments coming through, so I always like to uh, like to joke. Um, whew. So the packaging is fantastic. Let me see if I can maybe tilt you guys down. Show you what I'm working on here. Let's get you a better angle. And if you hear things in the background, we are in the fish room and I'm running that central air pump. I think I'm just gonna have to cut the box. I was hoping I wasn't gonna have to. And when I was figuring out what to put this box on to uh, unbox it, I pulled out the sketchiest little table I have. So I think I'm correct, and I believe that they operate out of Florida. Uh, Freshwater Exotics is, I, it looks like they're specializing in wild caught specimens. So it's gonna be kind of cool when we get these guys to breed. Uh, we'll be able to say, you know, track the generations. And we can get more into that later. Ah, I got a good newspaper layer. I just, ooh, heat packs. Heat packs are still warm, it's a good sign. So I do know that uh, they shipped these to me this morning and they landed at the Southwest this afternoon. Oh my gosh, I get a pop of rubber band. No way, let's see if I can do this. I'm so excited. Oh, it was weak. This is by far like my favorite fish shipment I've ever gotten in thus, thus far now. So I've never had like a full on box like this with newspaper and everything. Anyways, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just nerding out at this point. 
even better. They individualize the bags. That makes me super happy. So guys, thus far, freshwater exotics have been like amazing to work with. I know the lighting isn't the best in here, but. Okay, I've, I've got a, you've got, yeah. Let me, let me tilt you back up. We'll get some better, we'll get some better shots here. Guys, these are insane. Oh my gosh. I am so half free. I can't believe I found these. So, okay, first things first. <clears throat> Little bit of clickbait in the title. Um, these are rare, these are zebra plecos, but it's the L199 zebra pleco. So it's the actual yellow zebra pleco. Um, it's not the white and black one. I know that's what everybody probably is gonna see on this, but I can't afford a regular zebra pleco. There's no way I'm paying six fish combined. <clears throat> I paid as much as I would for one. So as much as it would cost me to buy one zebra pleco, I bought six yellow zebra plecos. And I think these are still just as gorgeous, probably sought after in the hobby, so I'm super excited to get these in, but guys, like, this is, I don't know if you can see these things, but the pattern on them is just insane. Oh my gosh. Looks like everybody's healthy, everybody's alive. I'm not gonna put these guys. The, the bat, I, these are packaged so well. Oh, it's a beautiful one. Let me see if I can pull out the tripod and give you a, what I'm seeing. Maybe you can get it right there. God, these guys are incredible. So, there's six of them. They are all individually bagged. You got a lot of, a lot of poop in this bag. That's good, <clears throat> that's good. So what I do like about freshwater exotics as well is when I was talking with them through email, they actually told me that they did their own quarantine on these fish, which is good. I'm still gonna do my quarantine. So let's move on and getting them into the tank and we'll talk more from that. So here is the group of them. Like I said, these are the L199, so L199 Plecos, the yellow, ze yellow Zebra Pleco. Um, <coughs> didn't have a bucket available right off hand, so I pulled out this old, this extra five gallon tank I have. But man, these fish are insane. Just how gorgeous these fish are. And I can't even begin to capture how nice these fish actually are and look. So they transition really well from shipping. Again, these are six wild caught plecos. Um, very happy with my service from Freshwater Exotics. As I was unpackaging these, these they were like triple bagged. So very well done, very well handled. Uh, we're gonna get move them into the 40 gallon. But before I did, I really wanted to give a nice close shot of these fish because these plecos are just insane. So now some of you may have already picked up on why I was geeking out so much uh, with the Houston Manzanita unboxing we did is I bought those caves in preparation to get these guys in. So very excited about this. I will be leaving links to Freshwater Exotics and you can check them out further. So I'm gonna move these guys uh, into their quarantine tank now. So there we have it, the fish are in, looking good. Man, these guys shipped in really, really well. So really excited to get these guys in. Um, God, I can't believe I finally found them. I actually was looking for a couple weeks to find these guys. And uh, even reached out to Tom with TM Aquatics to see if he had any or had a knowledge of anybody breeding any. And then I found Freshwater Exotics and they put out their list and these guys were on there. So super excited to have these guys. I just blown away by the colors and this in the patterns that are already showing um, I did want to take this chance though to kind of kind of say that I don't want people to feel that I I bought this fish as like a publicity stunt right like oh Trent bought rare zebra plecos. Ah, he's too good for us anymore. No, 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 no. 
I fell in love with these fish. I wanted these fish. I wanted to do something with these fish. I want to breed these fish. I mean, just look at these guys. Absolutely incredible. I mean, insane, amazing, but it just, I fell in love with them. Here we got one posing right here. I mean, I just, I just fell in love with this fish and I wanted a fun breeding project and to bring some into my area. So is there a business side to it? Yeah. But it's also of, there's so many things I want to do. And this is kind of that next phase of my hobby is I really want to breed fish. And I know these guys can be a little bit challenging, but I think it's going to be so much fun to work with these guys. Really looking forward to it. And I don't know if they're even breeding size yet. So I mean, we may have a ways to go before we see any kind of fry, but everyone's looking good. So we're gonna let them settle in. We'll get some meds in the tank and we'll get some, definitely get some added caves in here. Um, it's, gonna, it's kind of an interesting mix. Here's the two Akara I'm working with and we added those guys in. So we'll get some more caves in here tonight and let everybody settle in and find some good territory. So guys, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you are interested in see the progression of the L199 yellow zebra pleco, Make sure to subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one.